little sandy boys in the key of D, which normally it's an A, but I like it in D better for a dulcimer anyway. Okay. Ready? One, two, ready, play. I really do. You know who has a really great version of it is uh, uh, Dave Para and Kathy Barton ah. recorded a really great version. I think maybe they play it with another tune, but it's uh, dynamically. So I. It's always got that weird note in there that I have to think about because I always. The 
natural? Yeah. It's yeah. A, yeah. And then if I do it low, it's I go. And I screw up. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have a one and a half to be able to do it lower often. Okay, so let's talk about, yeah, it's, it's one of those modal tunes, which uh, Mickey modal? Alexander, yeah, so Mickey Alexander, uh, who was a longtime member of the Dulcimer Society, um, said that, and I, I'm, I think it's true, that Mixolydian tunes are ones that have that flatted sixth note, like Old Joe Clark. Yeah. June Apple is another yeah. one. It's those are modal. They're Mixolydian mode tunes. So, so yeah, I tune get lost that. in that mode, mode stuff. Well, I don't know a whole lot about it either, yeah. uh, except that M Mickey. Every time we would play like Old Joe Clark or June Apple, he would say that's a Mixolydian tune, and I, I always thought it had something to do with the tuning because we call this, you know, that DAD Mixolydian, but it's, um, it's. We're talking about two different things yeah. there. So anyway, yeah, it's it's. I love the tune because of that note. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about dynamically what we were doing there because I think that that's um, a critical thing in playing music in general is that you know that volume and intensity that's carrying the tune needs to not, for the most part, be real flat. You know, it needs. We to talk be, about this in other times in. When, when if you play two people play songs enough together, mm -hmm. then you sort of have a way of knowing. But um, you could tell we were getting a little confused on who was going to the bass side, and who right. was going to the high side. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't plan it, but that's okay. Yeah. We're jamming off the rails. It's off yeah. the rails, and we're jamming. And uh, you know, I felt confident that if I went to playing chord backup, and you were also playing chord backup at at some point with pretty quickly one of us was going to jump back on the melody and you did and I was glad you did I'm and yeah that's where I'm kind of weak on just hanging around on chords I'm, I'm trying to learn that but yeah backup chords mm -hmm. yeah I do I do quite a bit of that vamping yeah you know rhythmically whoops drop my pick um rhythmically it's kind of fun especially up high you know Before yeah. this start, we were talking about, I said, ooh, I found some. Sometimes when you noodle, yeah. and that, oh yeah, instead of doing the, yep, so instead of the D to the G, so you, you have a finger planted on the third fret, so hang on a minute, let's figure out what you're doing. It's third the fret. third fret on the, um, on the middle string, and oh, then yeah. the second fret, um, yeah, just string. looking at your fingers. Yeah. That's cool. That's a really cool sound. Yeah. Yeah, so what, when when did you use that? In the, like, play the tune, uh, start from the, the beginning. Part. Yeah. Yeah. So Where we would. Yeah, so, so play that part.
Yeah, and it's I just found it ten minutes ago, so I'm still confused. So, so I want you to play from the top, play the A part, because I'm doing I'm doing it all. Uh, I'm doing it all on the melody string. So play your part real quick. Well, that's why I jumped I mean, down to the middle string. Yeah, that's what I want, want you to show. You were, yeah, Play, played up. and how do you hold your arm and all of that because when I flat pick I anchor but See, I, don't I don't have think, you don't have anything to anchor mm -hmm. I don't have anything I yeah, either have so. to do it here and you know there's the harsh sound well right and then mm -hmm. and Walter always told me like when playing a mandolin just you can brush uh -huh. or you can you know hoover over hover over Okay, so so play play the A part again, and we're gonna watch your your picking hand now. All right, so, so now slow, slow it down. So slow it down. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it with you. That's we'll where, play it again. That's where noodling comes in. And da 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 Yeah, that's, that's a that's play, a play it again. Play yeah, that part a, again. That's an old lick that's been around forever. It doesn't I don't know if that fits all. There? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That is a, a lick that you can pretty much. Yeah. There's those four things that I, we've talked about before that I had sheets on. But yeah. Yeah. You can use that. In a and lot you're of stuff. holding your pick. 
I play it on the rounded edge. Okay, well, you, you, I'm using a herd of yeah. You're using a regular, let me see how stiff that is. That, I'm, that's another thing that while we're talking about picks, um, I keep two or three or four of them because you go into, a, I know it sounds crazy, but to me it's anal, anal, OCD, whatever. But um, you can go in a room and the humidity, the temperature, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's been sitting in the car. And I guess my ear, it likes certain sounds. And sometimes it's too harsh. Mm -hmm. And you'll see me pick. I'll so you have a one. different pick of a different gauge. Yeah. And you uh, stuck under your watch. I got another one. Yeah, yeah, it works. Harry so Brodsky. That, so Harry Brodsky showed me this. Okay. Good old Harry. So let me let me see those. So you have three different picks. Yeah, and I've actually got another one over there that I like. It's a red one. Okay. It's thinner. These uh, yellow and mm -hmm. yellow and green, same people. And the thing this I like. Thick, a thinner yeah, than the, this thicker. one's the thickest. Yeah, and that's and about a sixty-eight, I think. This one's pretty flexible, but it's a yeah. different design. I like these for the guitar. Yeah. Those the the uh, ones with the eagle. And these are star picks. They're kind of yeah. cool because they've got like a little hole where you can hold yeah. on to them. So, yeah. But I play with the, and I sometimes even though I may not be flat picking an individual string. You're you're holding the pick like yeah. this. So hold your hand up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm holding it much farther see, and I out. Do, sometimes I'll, but I don't. I don't know. would be a really good exercise for folks yep. that want to learn how to do flat picking. So it's a it's a two one oh two one oh and then two in the middle and one on the melody and then open so but you were doing are you doing a pull off okay. yeah anytime if you're gonna have it beat that D note it doesn't matter where you hit it. I mean, if you... Okay. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so let's let's slow that down. So it's a it's a two one and then pull off on the oh, from the one to the open. So two one and oh, then to go yeah. to the open, then back to the two one, uh, and then pull off on the open again. Then two in the middle. And then one on the melody. And then do you. <laughs> yeah. That's a good little exercise. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really you good can exercise. Use that. That's a kind of an ending. Mm -hmm. And you can use it on a lot of stuff. Old Joe Clark, I think. Do it on Old Joe Clark. Uh, let me see. Uh, there's four of them that I do. Well, just do this. Don't show us anymore. We're okay, just okay. doing this one right now. I'm not sure if it's Old Joe Clark. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But you got to get down there. Let me see. Let's do a little Old Joe minute. Clark where you can put that in. Something different on old Joe Clark. Okay. Yeah. What, 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 um, for this phrase, <laughs> we should have prepared. We should have prepared, prepared but we say, didn't. Uh, All right, let's stick with Sandy Boys then, because because I liked it on Sandy okay. Boys and it. And, All right, so let's play it again. And okay. yeah.
some funky chords there, man. That was you great. Know, sometimes you throw something odd in there with tension. Yeah, that... definitely. Yeah, what was that? I have no That was right a idea. one and a half. And what else? Uh, let's see. Where, where were we doing it? I can't do that. I always get a one and a 